Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back. I hope y'all are doing well. Um, today, I'm going to do like a journal with me type of video. You all had asked, some of you had asked me to do a like a journal with me video. I don't normally do these because I tend to ramble like I'm doing now and I don't want them to be forever long. Um, and honestly, I don't know how long it takes me to go to do a page from start to finish um, because I don't normally work that way, but that's okay. Some of you had asked me too, like how I plan my pages, how I, uh, do I do any color planning? Like, do I match the colors to, um, you know, my clip art, things like that. The, the answer to that, that came from Trish from Dish Kitty Studio. Um, the answer to that question is yes and no. Sometimes I do match it to my clip art. Um, sometimes I don't, it just all depends. So we're gonna find out how I go about doing this and it should be a learning experience for me too because after doing this for three, or this is my third year, I really just don't think about it anymore. I just kind of sit down and do it. So we'll see how it goes uh, and we'll do it together. Like on this page here, um, I had, this is happy mail that I had gotten from a dear friend, some of it. The tapes were all happy mail. So I did kind of incorporate like the colors of it all together, um, even though the YouTube is black, white, and red, you know, that doesn't matter to me. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of coordinated the colors of the tapes and used up my pretty happy mail from Jan. So uh, anyhow. I don't have anything prepared. My desk is a mess. Everything is strewn around. So this is just going to be raw footage of me doing what I do. And I hope that it's helpful to you. So I'm going to start out with how I turn a page like this into a page like this, which is completely prepared and ready for color. And then how I turn a page like this into a page like this, okay? I do not work in order, um, even though my my I have daily entries, you know, I don't work in order a lot of times. Like if you'll notice back here, I did yesterday's page, you know, I prepared it yesterday. So, and then I still have these two pages that I haven't even worked on. So, okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here's my post-it note. This was a Saturday. My husband and I and my and our son were down in the Keys for the weekend. So we um, were out and about, and that is going to be what my headline is, I think. So we went out in the morning, and we um, all went together and had breakfast at Evelyn's, and then we went to the car wash because my son's truck needed a wash-in, and then we ran some more errands. Um, we went to the library and I was able to get magazines there for free, which was awesome. And then we got home and had a Dexter Marathon. Okay, so here's my post-it. What I do for my post-it is then go and collect my clip art, okay? So this is going to be my breakfast. I hope you guys can see this. I hope I'm in frame. Let me see. Yep. Okay. So here's my breakfast clip art. Okay. And what I'll do with that is just, um, you know, cut it a little bit, whoops, more closely. So yeah, this video might turn into a two part series kind of thing or a two parter because honestly, I don't know how long it takes me to do a page from start to finish because I normally don't do pages from start to finish, okay? I do them in stages, so I don't typically sit down and just do a whole page in one go. So we shall be learning together. Okay, so there's my breakfast clip art. And then here I went to my computer yesterday and I did a whole page of, of different clip art for various pages, okay? Um, so let's see here. What else do I have? I look on my post-it note. Okay, breakfast at Evelyn, car wash. Oh my, sorry if you could hear that. My dog is digging to China. 
on my in-laws bed in the other room okay so here's my little clip I hope I'm in frame so you can watch me cut um, okay so here's my little clip art on or for the car wash my kids used to love going through the car wash <laughs> oh it brought back such fond memories they used to climb all over the car and I have like an SUV so they would like get unbuckled while we were in the car wash and um, they would just giggle and hide and crawl into the back space like the trunk space of the SUV <laughs> oh they were so goofy okay so anyway alright so I just you know I kinda of fussy cut it but not really okay so there's my car wash there's that clip art. Let's see here. What else did, What else is on here? Okay, library magazines. So I found this clip art. I, I think I just looked up on Google Images. I've told you before, I just use Google Images. And I think I just typed up pile of magazines clip art. That's, that's how I did that. You know what I'm gonna do with this too is I'm gonna use my paper trimmer, which is right here. Um, just because I'm a spaz yeah and yes I do use my uh, whatever this thing is called the paper trimmer I do use it like backwards I don't know why I really don't and this is kind of a pain because I've already cut some stuff out so let's see here okay that looks good enough to me whoops okay all right, and yeah, I normally, just so you know, I, I do like a full page of clip art. This clip art here was this Florida sign here. Um, so yeah, I, I do a whole page so that way I'm not wasting paper or anything like that. Or I try to anyway. Okay, so line this up. Whoops, I need a new blade on my trimmer. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. And, and I'm sorry for my sniffling and snarling. My allergies are just going nuts. It's been so windy here lately. Uh, not good. Okay, so there's that. Okay, what else? So breakfast at Evelyn's, check. Car wash, check. Library magazines, check. Um, and then we ended up coming home. We didn't really do too much. My husband wasn't feeling all that well. So we ended up coming home and just relaxing um, on the couch. Oh, you know what? I didn't do clip art for this, but that's okay. Maybe I'll add it in here somewhere. My, my husband and son, when we got home, I worked, uh, before we started our Netflix marathon, I worked on my planner and... My son and husband played a video game on the TV. I, I'm not sure what it was. Like Resident Evil, maybe? I don't even know. It was pretty interesting. Kind of creepy. But they had fun doing that. Um, okay, so this TV. And again, I simply typed into Google Images. Um, I don't, I don't know. I just simply typed in, you know, TV, TV clip art, right? TV clip art. Yeah, I'd mentioned in my clip art video, do not forget to type in clip art after whatever subject matter you're trying to clip in, okay? Or you're trying to clip in, you're trying to search for, you know? I, th I don't even know if I said it, but yeah, with this one, I think I typed in just pile of magazines clip art, and that's what it came up with. And if you'll notice, like, this is kind of blurry. You know, the picture is kind of pixelated. I don't really care. I mean, it's just an illustration of what I was doing that day. You know, obviously, if, it, if it's so blurry you can't see it, I won't use it, but it's not that bad. Okay. So there's that. Um, I think that's all I'm gonna use. Typically, I like to use like an odd amount 
of things on my page. Like here I have a little cluster for my happy mail, I have my YouTube and I have this here. So it's an odd number. Here I'm gonna have an even number. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, hmm. You know what I might do? And again, because I do not have anything prepared, because let's just do this in real time. Okay, maybe I could use this TV and put Resident Evil here. I'm just thinking out loud. I, I think that's what y'all wanted me to do, <laughs> is think out loud and show you kind of like how I do things. Okay, so I, maybe I'll put Resident Evil in that the boys um, played that on the TV in the afternoon. And then I'm gonna look through my pile of already made clip art that I just haven't used. And I'm gonna see quickly here if I have a clipping for Netflix. Okay, I'm pretty sure I, oh, I could use that bed in my planner. I'll put that, <laughs> that was for yesterday. Um, which I only ended up having a partial bed day, so that was good. At least I got some stuff done before I was in my bed. Okay, so let's see. Squeeze a boob, save a life. Make sure y'all ladies go get your mammograms. Okay. <laughs> little. Uh, that's my public service announcement. There, there we go. I knew it was in there. Public service announcement for today. Okay. So then after my uh, boys watched or yeah, played their video game, we ended up watching, let me see how I'm going to cut this. We ended up watching Dexter, which is a slightly disturbing show on Netflix. <laughs> uh, okay, so do I want to cut that out? Yeah, maybe I do. I hope, you know, I do mumble a lot. <laughs> so I will try not to do that while I am doing this for you. I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope you learn from it or get some ideas from it. Okay. All right, so there we have it. So that's my first step is I do the clip art. Okay, now we're gonna get into composing the page. I'm not really sure how I want to do this. Um, okay. I, I, and I like to go, you know, back and forth, right? So if I have a clip bar, a clipping over here, then the next clipping I want to have over here and then the next one over here maybe, and then these two down here with, and I don't know how I'm going to do it yet because I don't think that far in advance. Um, I don't think I like that there. Okay. So Anyway, yeah, that's the whole reason for the video, so you guys can see exactly how I do things. Okay, um, so I think here, one of my, um, I hope you can see this, one of my, um, the things that I like to do a lot is like headlines. I don't know why. Like titles, you know, to what I'm writing about. So, um, I think this one's going to be just out and about, okay, because that's what we were doing. So, let's see here. Um, and, whoops, what I do like to do as well is, the reason I like using a gridded notebook too is because um, it helps me with the spacing of my letters, okay, when I write. So a lot of times when I do my headlines, they are three boxes tall, just so you know. So we're going to do, or about three, you know, three boxes tall. So we're going to do out, out, sorry for the sniffles again, out, and... Out and about. The weather was really super windy, so there was no boating going on that weekend. Okay, and then a lot of times what I like to do with these headlines, okay, is just do a simple bubble, you know? Uh, because then when I color it in, or I do, you know, the outlining and, um, you know, and stuff like that, I can color it in and add a little bit 
of a pop of color with the lettering, okay? So I do that, so out and about, and then I'll write about that, and then I think I'll just simply put that there. Okay, so let me scoot some of my junk over. Oh, I got a dog on my foot. <laughs> okay, let's see. Sorry for the reach again. Oh, there's one. Because I don't, like I said, I don't have really anything prepared. Everything's just kind of like strewn all over. So I'm taking this and I'm going, this is my clip art for breakfast. Okay. Whoops. And I'm going to take that and glue it right down there. Okay. And then careful not to stick it in my already glued area. That's why I use a drop paper underneath my stuff. And the drop paper I just get from like Kmart, I think. You can get it in the kids section, like in the kids toy section. Um, a roll of it for fairly inexpensive and it just makes a great drop paper. And then when you're all done and it's all marked up and painted on, it makes, you know, nice paper for other projects. Okay, so we did the car wash. All right, so let's write about this so far, I think, maybe. What I might do, let's see here. I might do another bubble section. Hmm. Let's see, I think I can write about this in here. And then, yeah, okay. Again, I'm just, I'm trying to think out loud. I also sometimes, like, um, when I'm journaling, I use two spaces, okay? Two of the, it's two squares high, my letters are. And so I do like to count and see to make sure that, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, okay, I gotta go seven so I can make the bubble. Okay, yeah, I just like to make sure that I have an even amount of space to write my words out. Okay, so I can make my bubble here, all right. So I'm gonna take this, I think, and then I'm also gonna put this in here. Oh, see, that might not work out so well. Okay, let's see. Um, well, it'll work out over here. There's more space. And then this can go here, and then I'll write about how they, my boys, how they played. Okay, now let's see here. Um, Okay, sometimes, I don't know, let's see. Okay, if I glue this down here, my writing is gonna go like that, I think. So, yeah, let's see, sorry I'm mumbling. I'm just trying to like see if I'm gonna have enough space, okay? So, <laughs> And I don't like, you know, pre-plan, I guess. I just kind of do it. I just kind of wing it. So there's that. Um, okay, so that'll fit in there quite well, I think. Except, let's see here. Where's my eraser? Oh, come on. See, I guess I should have prepared, but again, this is raw, this is real time. Um, so now I have to look for my eraser. Oh, pooey, fooey. Let me see. Maybe I have it because I didn't work on my pages yesterday. There it is. Yep. So it was still in my travel bag. I use a uh, high polymer eraser by Pentel. That's what I use to erase my stuff. I got my flares here. Okay. I wanted to do the bubbles the other way. Whoops the other way, so that's okay. I love these polymer erasers, by the way. First of all, the little eraser bits come off, you know, fairly large, so you don't have like a lot of little bits. And it's a white eraser, so it comes out perfectly clean. And now I can hardly see where I put them. 
Okay, let's go like that. Let's put my TV here again. You know what? I'm just going to stick that down because I am committed to that space now with my little TV. Okay. Um, without getting glue everywhere. Again, sorry for the reach. Um, get a lot of glue on there so that it doesn't unstick on me at some point. Okay, so, whoops, that's okay. I'll just wipe that off. Oops, get out of there. Okay, so there's my TV. And I think on here, if, can you even see this? Hello. Okay. All right, down here, I'm going to put, I hope I can spell resident in my writing. And I hope my head's not in. Resident, whoops, it's almost going off. That's okay. Resident evil. Okay, so that's okay. So that is going, that's my illustration for the boys playing the video game. Okay, and then This here, I'm just doing a little bubble. I just like bubbles. I don't know. It just, it's an easy way to delineate the sections, I guess. And it also, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it also helps to, what am I thinking? Oh, add, you know, pops of color. Right, because I can do this section a pop of color, this section a pop of color, this little title a pop of color, and then this section a pop of color. So I like my pops. Okay, so I'm gonna do it this way, and then we're gonna commit the magazine clipping to that part. Whoops, okay, get it all glued up. Um, and you know, I, I really haven't looked in my, the first books I did to see if the glue stick really holds up or doesn't hold up or whatever. Also, um, with the grid paper for, for me, it helps me to line things up <laughs> because I'm a spaz and yeah, so it just, it helps me to line things up. Okay. So let me see. Okay, I need a title for this maybe. Let me see. Again, I go three high. So I'm going to write lie. I think I'll make this say library run. I love going to my library down south because they have such a great selection of magazines for free. Library run. And whoops, my hands are a bit shaky this morning. Oh, well. Okay, library run. All right, so there's that one. I don't even think I'm going to do a title on here. I don't think so. I might just write about it. Now, where did my Netflix clip art go? Criminy Jane. See, oh, there it is. See, that's what happens when you have a messy desk, too. Okay, so here's my Netflix clip art. So I'm going to get that put down. Whoops. Get that put down. Okay. So that is basically, I hope y'all saw all of that. Um, that's basically my first step in composing my page. Okay. If y'all can see that, I hope you can. Okay, yeah, so my very first step going from a blank page to something that looks like this. This would be my first step. So I kind of figure out how many uh, clip art pictures I want on my page, and then I figure out where they're gonna go, and I figure out the sections, I figure out what I'm going to make my titles. Um, sometimes I put bubbles, sometimes I don't. I like to use these bubbles as like little borders um, on this page here. Like I just used this tape that I received in Happy Mail. Um, yeah, I just use that to kind of delineate the, the page and make my sections. 
Uh, I generally make odd number sections. I don't really like to just do two different sections because then it looks like the page is chopped in half. On a page like this, I have, um, I have three sections. On a page like this, it's just one big section. So I will outline these here and I will, um, you know, write all this out and then I'll just color in the background one solid color. So it just depends on my mood. It depends on what's going on that day. It depends on how much clip art I use, how much other ephemera I put in here. It just all depends. Every day is different. And I think that that is one of the main reasons I love doing the Fobonichi is because every single day is different. I do not have a specific layout. I don't have boxes, you know, it just kind of all comes together when I sit at my desk and just begin to compose a page. Okay. So now out and about, um, let's see here. Let's do these lines again. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then that's going to be open and this should have been moved up more, but that's okay. It's no big deal. Okay, so, oops, now I've got glue all over me. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's get that out of the way. All right, so let's see here. So I'm just going to do my journaling. So out and about, okay. I don't write typically in, like, you know, proper English a lot of times, so... I just write down my random thoughts. So ran... A few okay now here's a thing right here I'll I'll tell you <laughs> I don't have enough space to finish the word errands okay I can do one of two things I can continue the word on this line and just keep on going or I can erase what I've written and move it over a little bit and I think that's what I'm gonna do now, sometimes I do just, you know, see that. That's what I like about the polymer. Okay, there you go. Sometimes I do, yeah, I don't have it over here on this page. Oh, I have it right here where it says nothing. I just, I didn't have a space, you know, space for the whole word. So it's just a continual thought right on to the next line. Just a little tidbit for you. Okay, but I, William Frame, okay. Um, now, what did I have written there now? Ran a few errands. Okay, so I'm going to start this over here a little closer to here. And hope I'm not mumbling. So ran a few. Yeah, that should fit better. Errands. Okay, and then I'm going to write about breakfast, breakfast at, and I'm just using the at symbol because I don't want to waste space for my journaling. Sorry, a little sip of coffee there. Okay, rain a few errands, breakfast at Evelyn's. Oh God, how do you spell Evelyn's? Ev uh, breakfast at Evelyn's, which was yummy. So we'll just put yum. Whoops. We're gonna scoot that over a little bit more. Another reason I like to use pencil because I can erase if things you know don't fit properly and the only reason i want i i didn't want it to go over into this area is because i'm going to take my poscas and i'm going to outline this okay so we had rain a few errands breakfast at evelyn's yum okay then what did we do then we went to the car wash so went through the car 
car wash. It reminded me um, of a sweet memory of the kids when they were younger. Uh, my my gems used to love going through the car wash, and we have always had an SUV, so they would get out of their car or their car seats or whatever, you know, unbuckle, and then they would just giggle and play around and crawl on the floor and go in the back area, and they just thought it was great fun. So it was a really sweet memory that day. So I'm gonna write something about that. So went through the car wash. Okay. Gems. Used. To. To. Love this. Gems used to love this. I'm not going to have enough room for when, so I'm just writing WH, continuum to co bleh, continuing my thought on the next line. Okay, Gems used to love this when they were little. Okay, then we went... Um, to Bell's, which is like a, it's like a discount store, went to Bell's and GNC, let's see. All right, probiotic, biotics for Beauty Queen. We also had to get some other stuff. But anyway, so there's my journaling for that, for out and about. And it kind of just sums up what we did that morning. We ran a few errands, breakfast at Evelyn's. It was yummy. We went through... And I make sure I spell everything kind of properly, too. Yeah, we went through the car wash. Gems used to love this when they were little. Went to Bell's and GNC. Probiotics for BQ. Okay. Then right by the store in this little strip mall here, we went and I did a library run. Okay. So, I hit the... The mother load. Let me see, other four. Hit the mother load of, I guess, I don't know, of magazines. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay, so hit the mother load of magazines. Um, got a dozen for, let's see, for bump bump, for. Awkward silence. Can you hear the crickets? <laughs> Hit the mother load of magazines. Got a dozen for collage journal. Okay. And I'm going to also, since there's some space here, all right, so excited because I was so excited to get all of those. And I'll put a little happy face. So excited. Okay. Then when we got home, the boys played on the the um, gaming thing. So one, two. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay. So what I did just then is uh, because, again, I do my lettering uh, two spaces, you know, two blocks high. And so I'm just checking to see if I have an even amount of space, okay? 
So they played Resident Evil. So I don't care about these lines because they'll get erased later. So. So boys played. Um, boys played. I think it was the PS4 on the PS4. I, again, ran out of space. I just keep going on the next thing, on the next line. I journaled, okay, I journaled. Okay, so then we had a Dexter marathon and whoops. And relaxed and relaxed on couch okay so there you have it let's see how long I've been going on to, as to whether yep I knew it was gonna be long okay so there you have it that is typically how I put my pages together okay I print out my sheet of clip art that I'm gonna use. I then start with my blank page and I kind of put, uh, you know, the clip art where I think it might go. And then I kind of section off the sheets in my brain uh, or section off the sheet in my brain. So I knew that this part here was gonna be about our errands. This part here was gonna be about my library run. This part here was gonna be about what we watched on Netflix and the boys playing on the PS4. So, that's basically how I set up my page, okay? So in the next video, I will show you how I go from a page like this to a page like this with everything colored in, completely finished, my header done. Uh, by the way, I do my header at the very last. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy that. I hope it gave you some idea of, of my thought process. Um, I hope you understood what I was thinking and saying because Lord knows sometimes I don't even understand me. So look forward to the next uh, installment, I suppose, of this or part two of this. And I hope I'll be able to just get her done for you. So I'll catch you next time. Thank you.